Hi folks, it's John Neisman from LastChanceAutoRestore.com. I'd like to share with you a vehicle that we just obtained that will be available for sale. Uh, we're quite proud of this find. Um, it's an abandoned project. This is a 1981 Volkswagen Scirocco. So it's the last year of the first generation Scirocco. Uh, it's a one owner car. It only has 137,000 original kilometers on it. So um, the customer was thinking about doing a restoration, started the disassembly by removing the bumpers um, and some trim. We have everything for this Scirocco. We have all of the parts for it. It has the original 1.7 liter engine. It's a five speed manual transmission. It was a factory original black car with a red interior. So I'd like to just share with you, we'll walk around it just briefly. Um, it has the original alloy wheels, the correct for the car, uh, true authentic, the Audi slash Volkswagen alloy wheel. Um, it just has a lot of surface rust in certain sections, but it's a very solid car. Um, inside you can see the original faded red interior. Uh, the dashboard, really common, they all cracked. We have a supplier. Um, that we can replace that uh, top dash. It has the simulated uh, wood look. We'll kind of walk around the other side too. It has the real Wolfsburg steering wheel, the factory original console with the two gauges, and uh, this being an 81 Scirocco, it has the five-speed manual transmission, not like the previous years where it was the four-speed manual. So um, th this is quite a nice find. Um, I'm partial to Volkswagens, um, and uh, the Scirocco is one of my uh, favorite, especially early 80s, got to be my favorite style of car. So as you come around the front, you can see where they've removed the grill, the front bumper, um, still has the, uh, the real uh, looking, the, the four round headlights, and then I'll, uh, I'll basically just lift up the hood because it's uh, quite original underneath and it's quite solid. So um, it appears that the cylinder head has been replaced at some point. Uh, we did a basic tune up on it where we replaced the, uh, the oil and the filter, fresh fluids, um, and then we made sure that the plugs and wires and everything were in nice shape and we have a new battery and new fuel pump. We drained all the fluids. So you can see underneath the hood, it's all original. So some people would refer to it as unmolested. No one's been in here and modified it and changed the suspension or hurt the style of the car. This is exactly uh, the way it came in 1981 and that's what we really like about it. Um, you can see the original stickers. Um, you know, you've got your, your voltage warning stickers and then you have your correct, all of your factory uh, labels are still there. You can see uh, underneath the dash, we have the original lettering for the wiper motor and decal. So this is quite a find. I'm, I'm really impressed with it. You can see there's some surface rust, but it doesn't appear to have any uh, rust through issues at all. And as you come down the side, um, you can see we have the vent windows, which I believe was an option in 81. Uh, we have all the documentation on the car and uh, you can see all the trims in decent shape. So this is a great restoration project. Because of the pedigree on the car, it only having 137,000 kilometers on it, um, I think it would probably be best for the car to do it factory authentic. Um, redo the body and paint in black. A lot of guys put the subtle little uh, like Coney uh, front spoiler on, and then a lot of guys are changing wheels and tires. So. There's lots you can do to upgrade the Scirocco, but being the last year of the first generation in 81, it's quite a find. And here in Canada, uh, whenever the last 10 or 12 years, anytime I've looked for a first generation Scirocco, when you look at them close, the floors are quite rotted, the rocker panels are rotted through, and a lot of rust issues in the front. This car does not have any of those issues. So it's quite nice. And then, um, as promised, I'll just kind of open the... Uh, the driver's door. It's quite messy inside. It's just like we picked it up. We took it off the trailer. But when you zoom in, the camera uh, lady can get closer there uh, to go between the steering wheel and show you've got the tachometer and the speedo and the odometer. And you can see, um, you know, the original wood grain look. 
and then the stereo uh, which was an upgrade from the local dealer when it was ordered you'll notice uh, the cassette player on the far left hand corner it is embossed with Volkswagen so it's just kind of a neat thing we have the original bill of sale and, and documentation for it um, it obviously is ready for a complete restoration you can see where the seating is worn uh, we have a supplier if we wanted to do the original uh, seats and covers and carpet we have an avenue for that or we can do mild custom depending on what the customer would like so once again quite a rare car this is a project car that would be available for sale only to anyone who would hire last chance auto restore to build it for them um, so you can contact me my email address it's john at last chance auto restore.com so once so what I'd like to do now folks is we'll, we'll cut away um, we're going to bring the Scirocco into the shop, we're going to put it up on the hoist, and then what we'll do is we're going to share with you the next part of this video, which is the under chassis of this Scirocco. So we'll cut away now for that video. Okay, so now we're under this 1981 Scirocco. I just wanted to share with you, um, now it's been in storage for quite a while, it's going to need to be cleaned up, just to share with you how nice it is underneath. So as we come under it, you can see uh, the engine, it has a little bit of seepage that we're going to take a look at, uh, but nothing major. We've got a new starter on here, uh, we've done a fresh oil change and filter, and then it needed quite a bit, so it's got new struts on the front, you can see they're dusty, um, but we have brand new Volkswagen uh, strut assemblies, we have new flex line, and all new nickel copper brake lines from front to back, so from the master cylinder, going to the front wheels and also to the back. And then we replaced the rotors because they had quite a bit of rust on them. And then we've also upgraded to rebuilt calipers. So you can see we've got, and they're stamped, the VW2 style, made in Canada. So these are an aftermarket caliper that have been rebuilt. Um, so everything in the suspension and steering is all great. And then as we come underneath the chassis, um, it's going to be a little bit darker here, but you can see the all new nickel copper lines going from front to back. Um, so we've got all new lines for the braking. There's been some structural repairs done underneath, um, and they've done it correctly. They've cut out uh, the rotted part of the floor. They have a, an original floor. You can see the ribbing here where they've added an original piece from another car and they've welded it in. They just haven't done the detail that we normally do here at Last Chance Auto Store where we would grind all that smooth and then we would finish all the detail so it wouldn't look like anybody's been in there. So that's what we'll end up doing when we restore the car is we'll, we'll clean all this up and smooth it all out so it looks all stock and original. You can see the exhaust system is quite rusty and nasty, but whoever goes to buy this car, I'm sure they're gonna either want, they have a choice, to go with the stock style exhaust or there's lots of aftermarket exhaust systems of a higher performance style that will attach to this engine, the 1.7 liter engine. As we come to the back of the car, um, the typical stuff, we removed the gas tank, we flushed it and cleaned it, the gas tank was repaired and put back in and then we had a concern with not only the fuel lines, uh, which we have coming across here, but also the fuel pump. So we've replaced the fuel pump with a brand new Bosch pump. You can see we have new line, uh, we've got new clamps, and then we have uh, new fittings and new lines, supply lines for the fuel. So you can see the floor is in really nice shape. Um, the exhaust system, as I mentioned, we'll, we'll re replace that later on. But now that we have um, all of the structural stuff that we know how, how sound it is, and now with the braking and the fuel and it runs like a top, so it has a couple of exhaust leaks, which we're fine with for now, um, but it gives you a nice idea of, of how great a shape this is, because for first generation uh, Scirocco, uh, it's very, very solid. And as we come to the back of the car, um, you can see where um, it has the new shocks, and they're the, uh, the upgraded uh, shock. They're a gas charged shock. The coils are in decent shape. Um, and then we, we redid the rear brakes too. They've all been cleaned and adjusted. So the only part that there's any um, hole through is in the back of this trunk, and it's the spare tire tray, and you can see in here where we've got, there's a, um, some stuff in the trunk, but this is the only section that has a hole in it, and this is quite an easy repair. So later on, we'll end up, we'll cut that out, we'll weld a new piece in, 
Um, but structurally, very, very strong, very rare car, 81 Scirocco. So I thank you for watching. I'm John from LastChanceAutoRestore.com.